When a client gives a new project, it's the job of the strategist to translate that from the business perspective into the consumer perspective. The output is what we call a creative brief, the distillation of the business problem into a consumer problem. Inside a creative brief lies the essentials of the target audience, the consumer problem, the single-minded proposition, and the consumer goal. When writing a brief for creative work, a tight brief gives creatives a really clear goal for the campaign. This is a document they will always return to when evaluating an idea. When feedback is given, the creative brief also serves as their guideline to ensure what is originally in there and to stick to it. It answers these four questions. Who are we communicating this message to? What is the problem standing in the way of the consumer? What are they trying to achieve that the brand can help them with? What are we going to say to change how they act or think? Remember, your goal is to translate the business perspective into the consumer's point of view, to be able to narrow down the problem into something advertising can fix. In the strategy finishing school, we use the get who to buy formula to do this. There's a full chapter on briefing where you can watch my process on how to create a solid creative brief. Now, coming back to the importance of a creative brief, I think the best way to show you is with an example. Let's break down the creative process behind Google's 2020 Super Bowl commercial, Loretta. Hey Google, show me photos of me and Loretta. <laughs> Remember, Loretta hated my mustache. <laughs> Remember, Loretta loved going to Alaska and scallops. Show me photos from our anniversary. Remember, she always snorted when she laughed. Play our favorite movie. Remember, I'm the luckiest man in the world. Google was trying to fix the narrative of how people see data collection negatively. Web users fear that their personal privacy is being violated when they use the search engine. To understand how they've come up with this amazing ad, I'm gonna now show you the get who to buy formula and break down Google's creative brief. The get statement tells us who the audience is. We really wanna tap into the consumer's mindset for the Google Loretta ad. It's get web users, the who part signals the consumer problem. Focus on that and ask what is currently holding them back from their goal. In the case of Google, web users who are wary of personal data collection. The two part of the statement talks to the consumer goal. What is the desired response from the target audience once their problem is solved? For this ad, it's to see the positives of data collection. And finally, the buy statement is the one message that we can tell consumers to get them closer to their goal. What can we say or do to make them see this from a new angle or perspective? It answers the how of our two statement by showing that the more Google knows about you, the more it can enrich your life. Let's lay everything out. Get web users who are wary of personal data collection to see the positives of data collection by showing that the more Google knows about you, the more it can enrich your life. This example shows that with a solid creative brief, ads can be more compelling by only focusing on the elements that matter to the target consumer. Creative briefs are important because they ensure that the creatives can understand the problem from the consumer's point of view, not just the businesses. Too often, a creative brief will be a marketing brief in disguise, e.g. create awareness of this new feature. We know this is a marketing brief and not a creative brief because it is the business problem, not the consumers. The Get Who To Buy statement is gonna help you with that. If you're interested in knowing more about creative brief writing, you can download my 10 examples of creative briefs using the link below.